Now we continue with the example 1 for the low frequency response. The question is, for the self bias configuration with RD 100 kilo ohms as shown in the next slide, determine A, VGSQ and IDQ, B, find GM, C, calculate the mid-band gain of AV, D, determine input and output impedance Z in and Z out, calculate AVS, F, calculate FLG, FLC and FLS, G, determine the low cut of frequency, H, sketch the asymptotes of the board plot for FLG, FLC and FLS, I, sketch the low frequency response. Let me examine this configuration. The IDSS and VP are given here. IDSS equal to 6 mA and VP equal to negative 6 volt. So take a look here. The capacitor of the CG 0.1 microfarad CS 10 microfarad and CC 4.7 microfarad. The, the step by step solution for the question A, B, C, D, and E are not explained in this video. You can try it based on the previous videos that you have learned before in the DC analysis and AC analysis. You can answer how to get VGSQ. IDQ, GM, AV, Z-in, Z-out, and AVS. In this uh, video, I mainly focus on the frequency response. So here, the answer for question A to E, I give here, VGSQ is negative 2.48 volt, IDQ equal to 2.07 milliampere, GM is 1.17 milli Zeman. AV mid is equal to negative 1.95. Z in is equal to 1 mega ohm. And Z out is equal to 2.91 kilo ohm. Meanwhile, the AVS is same as the AV mid, is negative 1.95. Now we continue with the solution of the question F to find the FLG. Okay, so the CG is located at the input side of the amplifier. So we take a look at this figure. The RC is 1 kilo ohm and CG is 0 0.1 microfarad. Z in that we get from the calculation of the AC analysis of the self bias, we get Z in equal to 1 mega ohm. And then by using the general frequency uh, formula, 1 over 2 pi RC, and then we substitute the R, the impedance now is R sig plus R in. So that R sig we plus with the Z in. Z in or R in here. And then you just insert this value. And when we calculate, we get 1.59 hertz for the FLG. Next, the second frequency is FLC where we obtain from the capacitor CC. Okay, this CC is situated at the is located at the output. So the fre, the, the frequency is 1 over 2 pi RL plus R out multiply with CC. 
So RL is 3.9 kilo ohm plus with the Z out 2.91 kilo ohm that we get from the AC analysis. And then when we substitute this value, so we get 4.97 hertz for the FLC. The third frequency is FLS, which is from the bypass capacitor CS. Okay, so first, we need to find the REG here, or REQ here. So by using this formula, this is the complete formula. Then you insert the RS value, the GM. G, this GM, remember that we get from the AC analysis. Okay. And then insert the RD and RL. When you calculate the REQ, you can get 501.6 ohm. Then substitute this REQ into this e equation for the FLS. 1 over 2 pi REQ CC. And you get 31.73 hertz for the FLS. Next, to get the low cut of frequency, let we examine the value for, for each frequency response that we obtained from the calculation previously. So the FLG is 1.59 Hz, FLC is 4.97 Hz, FLS is 31.73 Hz. So the low cut of frequency will be the largest value of this three frequency, which is now the FLS, 31.73 Hz. We already obtained three low frequencies and now we want to sketch the asymptotes. Okay, so to find the asymptote, we are using the analysis uh, the approximate analysis equation, this one, okay, negative 20 log, uh, cut of frequency divided by F. Okay, to use this frequency, remember that this F1 is the frequency that we want to use. For example, this FLG, so insert FLG values. And this F is represent the scale on the semi log paper. So we have for each cycle 0 0.1, 1, 10, 100, and so on. So to get uh, the asymptote, maybe you just uh, use between two or three points. So we can draw the straight line uh, by using uh, this value. Okay. So for the FLG, when we insert this value and divide by F is 0 0.1, we get the gain is negative 24.03. And when the FLG divide by 1, we get gain equal to negative 4.0303 in decibel okay then we go to the flc or the flc is 4.97 divided by the 0 0.1 frequency here so we get the voltage gain is negative 33.93 decibel and when we uh, use for another frequency one here so we get negative 13.93 decibel and same goes to the FLS insert the value of FLS 31.73 divided by these two frequency for the 0 0.1 so we get the answer is negative 50.03 decibel and for another frequency we get negative 30.03 decibel.